Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. I just did a place image and I sent it over to my printer. So I just placed this image, um, went into my Files tab. Let me come up here and do it for you. Um, file right there is Place Image. I clicked it and I brought it in. And um, I also did one before this where I added text to it just right over it and you know from my previous video that when you do that come on little thing work you need to come over here to the wrench icon and click print cut print and that will change any text that you add on top of that to be able to be printed it'll turn black you don't want blue you want black and here is the outcome ooh, 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 because then I went and did the scan and cut so I have all those it's done in my Samantha font um, I have some blank ones because I don't like brown um, so here are all of these and I'm gonna attach them but look at what's on the back just ugly stuff so I had to do another one I'm printing it actually let's come on over here because I have the wireless HP wide format printer come on kitty move um, so there they all are so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the scan to cut okay so I have it over here let's go do the scan I do have the 650 <clears throat> which does the RGB red green blue scan which means it picks up colors so we'll scan it in a lot of people have difficulty getting it to register with this type of scan if that happens go to the scan to cut data and do it that way and also do the grayscale because a lot of times that will help pick it up I hate my shaky hands I can't ever get this to read right most of the time Bump it up. there we go okay so we'll let that recognize for a minute okay so here is what it picked up it picked up everything but the brown or actually no everything but the gray so <laughs> excuse me I can go through here and I can change the colors or let's go back out here and let's try the scan to cut data because what that will do is that will allow us to recognize a different aspect of the scan. Okay, so now it came up. So let's frame our image in here. That looks pretty good. And we'll wait for it to recognize, which sometimes takes a little bit. Okay, so here it is up on the screen. Try to focus this in a little better for you guys. Okay, let's try this jobby. Oh, look, it worked. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll save it and then I'll go in and bring it back up so I can cut this out. I will tell you, this is really funny because the first one I did, the one you've seen setting over there, um, I actually did um, the very first, hang on, let's get out of this. Um, I did the direct cut and it worked perfectly so I guess it's all in the finickiness of the machine sometimes um, so uh, now I come in here and I uh, have this so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out so you're not moving any part of it you don't take it out you just go in there grab that and cut it so it's a little bit of an extra step, but those of you that can't get it to register correctly, do it that way, um, and it'll work just fine for you. But like I said, the very first one I cut, it, I did the direct cut, and it worked just fine. This one, I scanned it in the same exact piece of paper, and it, it would not pick up the gray. So it's real finicky, um, but it works, and I do notice um, on my... Uh, 
first cut that I do need to go in and adjust my scan and cut head um, because there is a little bit of white in that. No problem for me. Uh, this is going on my planners that I'm making for my mom and my mother-in-law. Um, but for those of you that uh, do have problems with your uh, scanner picking things up, that's how you go about fixing it, alright? You guys have a good day. If you have any questions, you can find me over at Scan and Cut, Canvas, and Scal Help. Scal is spelled S-C-A-L, and that is on Facebook. Thanks, guys.